Money, 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 money. Oh, sorry, wrong pay per view. It's not the WWE Saudi Super Showdown, it's WWE Money in the Bank 2019 happening on my birthday. Don't tell me you're not gonna wish me happy birthday on Twitter on May 19th. The highlight of uh, Money in the Bank 2019 build so far is actually the poster. That looks pretty sick. I gotta be honest people, considering the fact that it's the worst era of the WWE in recent memory, uh, the match card is pretty decent, but it's illogical. So let's start with the pre-show. SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, Daniel Bryan and Rowan vs The Usos. This match makes no sense whatsoever because it's SmackDown Live Tag Team titles, but the challengers are from Monday Night Raw. And I gotta be honest, this match is probably going to be very entertaining and what we've seen on SmackDown proves it. This should be on the main show. But at the end of the day, not everyone can be on the main show, so maybe it's in a place where it should be. So this Ryrie has pretty much no build other than the fact that uh, we got this match on SmackDown Live. But it's one of these matches that we all know it's going to be fun to watch just because of the competitors. My prediction is Eric Rowan and uh, Daniel Bryan, obviously I don't think there's even a chance of the Usos winning this. Uh, yeah, right now WWE are going to change their mind, but I'm gonna say that my prediction is Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. Money! Money, 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 money! WWE Cruiserweight Championship, Tony Nese vs. Daiwari. I don't know. I don't watch. Why would I watch the show? Money! Money, 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 money! The United States Championship, Samoa Joe vs. Rey Mysterio. The question is, will we see Rey Mysterio's son? It seems like this is the biggest part of this storyline, the most important part of the storyline, Rey Mysterio's young looking ass son. Will he fight Samoa Joe? Will he stand up to Samoa Joe? Will he help his papa? The next month they will fight for his custody rights. I'm telling you people, that's a very good looking ass poster. So this is an interesting build. At WrestleMania 35, Samoa Joe defeated Rey Mysterio in under a minute. However, Rey Mysterio defeated Samoa Joe on Monday Night Raw and earned a United States Championship title match opportunity. And like I've said, the main focus of this rivalry is Samoa Joe disrespecting Rey Mysterio's son and the other way around, I guess. I can be negative, but if we can look at this in a positive way, at least they're doing something with the United States Championship. What about the IC Championship? So my prediction is, you know, honestly, I'm gonna say Rey Mysterio. I know this is a wild prediction, uh, but uh, my prediction is Rey Mysterio if they want to actually continue with this rivalry. Money! Money, 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 money! Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. This is the match we are all looking forward the most. Let's be honest. This is a good one. Andrade, Ricochet. Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Ali, and Randy Orton. Could this get any better? If there's one thing that WWE did right with Money in the Bank 2019 with the match card, it's this match. My man, the amount of crazy stuff we are going to see. You may say that this is a tough one to predict and I somewhat agree, but at the end of the day, Drew McIntyre is in this match. And I feel like it's pretty obvious that WWE are going to give the briefcase to Drew McIntyre. As much as I like him, I actually lost interest once he joined the low ratings order. But I feel like Drew McIntyre is the obvious choice. Now, if I'm WWE and I want to screw the fans again, I'm gonna have <laughs> a second prediction. My first is Drew McIntyre, the second one is Baron Corbin. I feel like that is going to be WWE's way to make sure that we are mad. Oh, Baron Corbin is getting a lot of heat. No, it's just that we we are disappointed. Money in the bank is not the same and I feel like WWE are not necessarily going to change that. Money, 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 money. Women's money in the bank ladder match. This is an unpredictable one. I have no idea. Uh, my predictions as of right now are either Alexa Bliss, Bailey, or Mandy Rose. So, you know what? I'm gonna say Mandy Rose because she's been getting a huge push as of late and I feel like WWE probably want to continue with that. So my prediction is 
Mandy Rose. Money. Money, 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 money. The WWE Raw Women's Championship title match. Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. And then we are going to get Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. So let's predict these two at the same time because these two are a little bit connected. So would it make sense for Becky Lynch to actually retain both championships? Mm, not necessarily. Would it make sense for her to lose both championships? Maybe. I guess. I'm gonna try to do something different. I'm gonna say that Becky Lynch is actually losing both championships somehow. It's obvious that the second match is going to have a higher chance of the title changing hands. But you know what? I liked what I saw on Monday Night Raw, so I'm gonna say that she is losing both championships. So my prediction is Lacey Evans and my prediction is Charlotte Flair. Honey. Money, 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 money. The Miz vs Shane McMahon in a steel cage match. I don't like this rivalry anymore ever since we got this wild card rule. I don't care. But you know what? It's a steel cage match. Match that I don't like as well. But when you have a steel cage match and you also have Shane McMahon, things change a little bit. So I'm excited to see what kind of crazy stuff Shane McMahon is going to do this time. If he's not gonna do anything well, that is a disappointment. I don't wanna be that guy who was like, Shane McMahon needs to risk his life. But if you're giving us this, then you, you gotta. And you know what? My prediction is, again, Shane McMahon. Elias is going to help Shane McMahon to win this match. If Shane McMahon is going to face Roman Reigns in Saudi, we all know that Shane McMahon is winning this. Honey. Money, 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 money. Roman Reigns versus Elias on Monday Night... Oh no, it's, it's actually not a random episode of Monday Night Raw. It's actually somehow a pay-per-view match. And uh, I don't expect this to be that long. And I feel like Roman Reigns is somehow winning this. I know Shane McMahon should help Elias, but it's Roman Reigns. Different rules when it comes to Roman Reigns people. My prediction is Roman Reigns. This rivalry sucked. Balls, it was absolutely ridiculous. It was it was Vince McMahon's wet dream. Money, 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 money. The WWE Championship match, Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. It's a shame that people don't necessarily care about this match. I feel like once we will get near falls uh, uh, by uh, Kevin Owens, that's when people will start caring because People don't want to see Kofi Kingston losing the championship with a one-month title reign. I feel like that's the case. So, maybe they didn't care about the rivalry, maybe they don't necessarily care about the match itself, but they care about the fact that Kofi Kingston is about to lose the WWE Championship. And my prediction is actually Kevin Owens. You know, because originally, Kevin Owens was supposed to face Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 35. So I feel like WWE gave you this moment, gave you Kofi Kingston, apparently they might think that Kofi Kingston is the reason to blame for low ratings, he's the champion, he's responsible. So WWE are giving the championship to Kevin Owens. We all, we all like Kevin Owens, he's a great guy, he deserves it, but it's bad timing and I feel like w and I feel like we don't want to see it right now. Unfortunately, in my opinion, I think that we will, and that is my prediction, people. Money! Money, 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 money! And the dream match, Universal Championship, Seth Rollins vs AJ Styles. I've said it since 2016. The match that I want to see between two current WWE superstars is AJ Styles vs Seth Rollins. I really wanted to see it at Survivor Series, but we are getting it and we are getting it for the main championship of Monday Night Raw and somehow we are not into it. I want to see that match, I'm pretty sure it will be a tremendous match, but somehow WWE is so bad at the moment that people don't even care about this match as well. And it sucks. It's, a, it's an absolute dream match, people. And we don't care. And I know the build wasn't the best, it felt kinda, you know, ah, just let's put these two guys, uh, people care anyway, so we don't need a good rivalry. But it's not true. So, my prediction is AJ Styles, somehow, he's turning heel and he's winning the championship. I know these predictions were crazy, 
<laughs> but I feel like WWE are such a sinking ship at the moment and they're so desperate that they are going to try to shock you and um, they're not gonna go with the obvious in my opinion. So these are my predictions for Money in the Bank 2019. Let me know yours in the comments below, especially the main championship matches and ladder matches. So uh, are you excited? I'm kinda ish, you know? It's happening on my birthday, so I don't know if I like that. <laughs> but thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, make sure to click that like button, follow me on Twitter, and as always, ya yeah boy, Mr. Forhardamania, the great one. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure. I'm a genius. 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 I'm a genius.